What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video from Pinyak Travel and we've got a good video for you today. I actually have a video of our room that we had at our most recent stay at Atelier uh, Playa New Harris. This is a resort that's about 45 minutes from the Cancun airport. First of all, we had a blast at this resort. This resort was so much fun. We were very impressed from everything from the food quality, the service, the quality of the room, the quality of the resort as a whole. It's very modern, very new, very fresh feeling, very clean feeling resort. Um, and we really enjoyed our time here. It kind of checks the box and offers something for everybody. Um, it is adults only, which we liked when we travel. We, we do like to go adults only. And um, wanted to give you a quick little room tour of our room that we had. We had a junior suite ocean view. Um, this is one level up from their, from their lowest level room, which would be a resort view. So essentially slightly upgraded room, um, still a really good value. The, whole, the resort as a whole, I think, is one of the best values out there. Um, even in the, when you're comparing the Caribbean to Mexico, um, just in general, really good value resort for the, the bang that you're going to get for your buck when you pay for this resort compared to others is, is really good. So let's jump into the video here. I'm going to give you a quick little, I guess we call it a quick little deep dive into the Junior Suite Ocean View. Um, and let's jump right into it. So right when you walk in, um, it, it initially gives you that modern, the, the Mexican modern feels. You, a lot of wood. Um, you, you'll see that this is a kind of a hallway right when you open your door. Well, your bathroom's to the left. And what I really liked is, bam, right there on the right, they've got a pool bag for you in case you didn't bring one with two towels. You can grab that, go right down to the pool, go right down to the beach, throw your cell phones in there, everything you need. I believe you can actually take that with you. We didn't keep it. Uh, we left it in the room. Um, but you can actually take that home with you. It's like a little gift that they give you, um, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you can take that with you. Uh, a lot of resorts, in, especially in Mexico, are doing nice little touches like that um, for your stay. The bathroom here, right to the left, right when you walk in, um, kind of a wow factor right when you cut the lights on and walk in because it's very, very modern again. Um, you can see the mirror there with the, 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 the mirror, the backlighting in the mirror was really cool. Um, big double vanity. I like the soaking tub that's right in the middle of the bathroom with the gold fixtures. Hey guys, it's back to the 90s. Gold is in. And uh, anyways, just, just very well put together, very well done. You'll see these wooden kind of walls here. Um, that's not just for aesthetics. That, that Those wooden panels actually slide open. So you can fully open your bathroom up to the rest, out to the rest of your suite, which was really cool. Um, so if you really want to make this whole suite, give it a big open feel, soak in the bathtub, get a little view of the outdoors, you can do that by just sliding both of those corner walls right open. It's really cool. Let's move on with the tour here. So again, nice soaking tub. Everything's ready to go. They got the towels there, the soap there. You can jump on in. Uh, again, big dual vanities, all the soap that you need, even mouthwash, bottled water right there at the vanity. Very, very cool. Very comfortable, very big and spacious. Uh, the shower was really, really nice. It's a huge walk-in shower uh, with a rain shower head that's uh, on the ceiling. Only if you're traveling as a couple, you can both can shower at the same time. Uh, you know, do your thing in there. It's, uh, it's a really nice shower. Again, darker modern tile. Goes back to that Mexican modern theme that they're going with when it comes to the design of this resort. Um, nice little uh, sitting bench and then obviously all the soap that you would need as well. So very comfortable, very nice. Um, and that's just a sliding glass door to your bathroom. And again, let's move on into the main area of the guest suite here. Uh, again, really cool. You see the wooden furniture. They actually, the, the lighting in this, this resort in the room was really cool. So you can see they actually put backlighting just beyond your, uh, your dresser here. And you actually have your mini bar inside of that dresser. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Everything just like well lit, very modern, gives you really good vibes, really feel like you're in Mexico, which I think is cool. It's not just your standard resort. Um, they had an espresso machine, uh, so you can make your coffee or espresso in the mornings with plenty of bottled water to use. Um, very open. Uh, this was honestly the first resort that we've seen where the bed kind of, I don't want to say floated in the middle of the suite, but you can see the desk backed up to the bed. So the bed's not against the wall. It just kind of floats in the middle, and there's a table right behind it, um, which I kind of liked. It kind of made it feel, I guess, a little more open. Um, if you want to do work at this resort, you can pop your laptop up or tablet, get some work done at this desk. Um, another thing I thought was pretty cool is they actually have a tablet. I, I didn't get a good video of it, so shame on me. 
but there's a touchscreen tablet there that you can order room service, get more information on the resort, um, just about anything you need to do at the resort, you can do through that tablet, which we're starting to see more and more of that at these all-inclusives, which is a really good thing. Again, modern Mexican, very convenient to have something like that in the room. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, moving on with the rest of the tour here. You can see again the bed. By the way, the bed was super comfortable. It was really, really comfortable bed. Slept like a baby. Um, you know, some resorts, especially the older resorts, sometimes the beds cannot be as comfortable. Uh, this bed was really comfortable. They had this neat little mini mannequin looking thing here. Um, they, the housekeeping staff in between changing the room and flipping the room and doing the turndown service at night would constantly move that guy around and change the way he was standing. Uh, so it's kind of like this little doll, I guess it's kind of part of their theme, but it was just kind of a neat little thing. Like you'd come back in the evenings and wonder where the housekeeper, you know, put the, uh, put the little mannequin. So just again, a neat little touch, something a little different. Um, I love the fake plants in the room. I thought that was really nice. Um, big TV, I think the TV was at least maybe 48 inches if I had to guess. Um, plenty of channels, uh, English and in Hispanic language as well, and Mexican, I don't know, Spanish as well. Um, uh, so if you want to watch golf or something or catch a football game, you're going to have plenty of that. And some of these resorts, you know, the, the TV's not as good. Like sometimes you're, you'll flip to the channels, it's more local channels. It's not in English. This is not the case here. So if you're traveling from the United States, want to watch some sports, it's going to have it for you. A lot of natural light coming in. So again, we didn't have the most high-end suite. We pretty much had one level up from the bottom, you know, bottom level suite. But I, what I loved is just very open. You can see they have a couch here if you want to lounge on it. They had a book that kind of had a lot of images and history of Mexico in it. So it's kind of a local book. Again, giving you that local Mexican flair and a nice little sitting table. They put actually um, some chocolate there for us, um, just as like a little you know kickoff gift for showing up. And then let's get to the balcony, let's get to the view. Again, more of that modern feel, wooden feel. Um, great, good perspective of the bed and kind of how it sits in the room. Again, and the wooden wooden ceilings too. So the exposed wooden ceilings I thought was really cool. So if you're like us and you kind of like that modern feel, you're gonna get that here at Atelier. And then look at this view. So this view was, I mean, we really enjoyed the balcony. It's a very, very big balcony. Uh, for the level of suite that we booked. This this resort does have a golf course. The golf, I didn't play it. It looks really nice. Um, again, this resort really offers something for everybody. So if you're a golfer, you're traveling like as a golf group, maybe with the wives as well, this would be a perfect spot for it. And it's again, it's a phenomenal value. So before I get to the balcony, let me show you exactly where we are at at the resort. So this is Atelier. This is the adults only uh, portion of the resort, which is essentially Atelier and a studio are two resorts right next to each other. This is the family side of the resort. Um, uh, we did have access to that. We actually went over there to see what it looked like. Um, actually, it looked a lot like our side of the our side of the resort. Blah, of the resort. Um, it was just a little more kid friendly. Like they had water parks for the kids, things like that. We did eat dinner over there once, and it was really really good. But our balcony views right here. So we actually sat back closer to the action of where all the restaurants are and where all the nightlife is on the resort. So our room balcony is right here. Just for perspective, the beach is all down here. So that's kind of the beach and the pool. This is the golf course right here. So you can see we're kind of further back. The only downside to being back this way is you're a little bit further from the pool or the beach. So if you want to obviously do that every day, you're going to have a little bit longer of a walk, which we didn't mind. Got to walk off those dirty bananas and the, the margaritas. Uh, but the plus is you're really close to all the action, all the nightlife, all the restaurants. Uh, most of it is all located right here. Uh, the lobby is essentially right here. So you kind of pull up here right into the lobby. This resort had the best lobby bar I've ever seen. That lobby bar was kind of a focal point of the resort. We spent a lot of time in it. Again, I highly recommend, I'll put a link in the description. We have a whole vlog on this resort, our entire stay here. It goes into way more detail than this video does. I'll put a link in the description. It's about a 20 minute video of our entire stay. Check that video out. It'll give you a lot more information on Talier if you're thinking about going there. Um, but essentially, that's where we said the gym was right down here, which we liked. We were close to the gym. Um, and again, just a slightly longer walk to the pool and the beach. Didn't really mind it. So let's get back to the video here. So I'll, I'll slide the door open. We'll take a step out here on the balcony. 
Um, modern furniture, plants on the outside, two palm trees that lit up at night, which I thought was pretty cool. Beautiful golf course. Again, there you can kind of see those two walkways. Very kind of lush greenery on this portion of the resort. So you're not right on the beach. It's not a short walk, but it was kind of cool. It's almost like you're walking through a jungle and they kind of made these long like dock-like walkways with dark wood. So this would take you back to the restaurant area. This takes you kind of to the gym area. And again, we had a beautiful view of Islam Harris off on the horizon, the golf course, the, uh, the, the beautiful uh, water there. Um, and by the way, there's some really blue water in, in right around Islam Harris. I mean, I forgot how blue that water is. We've traveled to the Bahamas, Bora Bora. I mean, you name it, we've seen some beautiful water. I got to give Islam Harris, just the island, a lot of credit. I mean, it was just beautiful. I forgot how stunning and how clear the water is. This gives you a nice little, uh, I guess, imagery of what the main area of the resort looks like and where we are in proximity to it. So all the restaurants are right here, all the lounges, the nightlife. There is like one restaurant down by the beach um, that we did not try, but we, we kind of hung out here every, every single evening. Great little patio, if you can see it there. They did wine tastings there every evening, if you want to do that, a little charcuterie. A travel tip, if you're big wine drinkers like us, this resort, has a certain level of wine that's included and you can always upgrade the wine at the restaurants if you want to. Well, if you go to their happy hour tastings, their little wine and cheese hour, I guess they call it, right here, you actually can try the higher end wine for free. So it's part of just getting, you can get a glass of wine of what, pretty much whatever you want right there and you don't have to pay extra for it. And it's kind of their way to let you taste the good stuff and then you can try it at one of the restaurants if you'd want to upgrade. The, the house wine was perfect. Like we, we're, and we're pretty big wine drinkers. We're pretty picky. We like the wine drink. We like the wine that they offered with everything. We did upgrade it once at the steakhouse. We upgraded to a local wine. Don't knock Mexican wine until you try it. Casa Madero, one of the, it's literally actually, yeah, it's the oldest winery in North America is actually in Mexico. It was founded in 1597. It's called Casa Madero. And the wine there is actually really, really good. So if you're a big wine drinker, want to try something new, never heard of Mexican wine, you can get it there. It's really, really high quality wine. So anyways, you can see how close we were to everything there. Um, and then I'll pan back over. This little rooftop lounge here, that's the second pool of, on the resort. Um, that is a kind of members only pool. So they have a club that you can join, like a vacation club if you, if you wish to. Or if you book a certain level suite, you'll have access to that infinity pool as well as this bar. There's a neat little uh, bar here uh, that's open air that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, that's like a neat little feature they had. The main pool was huge. I mean, you didn't really need to join to get into this pool. The main pool was huge, had two swim-up bars. One of the biggest pools I think I've been in. Um, and it had kind of a, a, a end that was hopping. So they had a, one of the swim-up bars. That was kind of a hop in swim up bar. And then you can go all the way to the other end and there's more of a quiet area um, with a swim up bar as well. And I'll kind of showcase that here as well. And hang on a second. I lost my imagery. Where are we? We are live. We're alive, folks. Let me move me down. We're alive. Live TV. Here we go. So you can see, dang it, struggling. There we go. So you can see the pool here. The pool was really, really large pool, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, this swim up bar here, this end was more quiet. So if you're looking for something just a little more quiet, a little more chill, that's the end you want to stay on um, and hang out at. If you're looking for something a little more hopping, there's also a swim up bar here. This pool is honestly probably like 125 yards long, and then it makes this little L cut over to this other swim up bar. Anyway, so that's why I say I think this resort offers something for everybody. Uh, this is the family side of the resort. Uh, we did go there for dinner. It was good. Um, they obviously have a lot of stuff for kids. Um, so it's called a studio. So they, they, you'll have access to a studio by staying at Atelier. Um, but Atelier is the adults only, and um, which we kind of like to stick to when we travel anyways. Um, so let's go back to the video here and kind of wrap this puppy up. Again, you can kind of see the pools right there. You can't really see it with how lush the greenery is. Again, not a, not the not the shortest walk, not the longest either. We didn't mind it, and um, and that's pretty much going to wrap up the room tour here. You can kind of see what this looks like. This is a really good kind of still frame of what the whole room looks like. And you slide these doors open here. This door slides over here. 
the other wall door slides down as well and you can open up the entire suite and really kick your feet up in that tub and just stare outside. So anyways, really cool, we enjoyed it. Again, if you're thinking about this resort, check out the link in the description, go to our long form vlog. We also have a podcast called the Know Before You Go Travel Show. It's a weekly podcast that we compare all inclusive resorts to other ones. We do a whole review. Actually, we have an episode on this one, which I'll link as well. So if you want more long form content, like to get into the nitty gritty of this resort and how it might compare to others, I'll put the link in the description below to that podcast as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.